What is up, guys? This is your boy, What is Boy 91 back here, and I took a break for a while, just letting you know. So, that's why we missed the last event, which was about the Rocky Chorn. So, in theory, it was the not Squire Scorn, it was. I forgot. I'll make a proper screen. Anyway guys, this is another event of tier 3 this time, it's the start of Schoolhouse Scorch. You can recruit this guy, Zorobar, the Demonic Angel. And he sounds interesting what I've seen with his promote skills, but I'll show up once I look on myself. As always, I'm stuck on another challenge doing it right now, and I'm going to start off with the first challenge of the event, which is unlocking the Zorobar Demonic Angel. The basic answer is that he takes the slot right in the middle of him and eats a crusader adjacent to him to get the DPS reduced by 25%. So it's not bad, but there's only about 5 people around him, if I remember looking at that map. 1, 2, 5, yeah. Won't be that bad. I think we can do it. Be straightforward. I think we can do it. Let's give it a go! So, to continue on with this challenge, so as I do at the beginning, but as I said, each crusader adjacent him reduces the global DPS by 25%. I may have said it kind of wrong before, so I thought it was um, just beside it was reducing their ones, but of course I didn't pay attention to the word global, which means one more extra person around it right now will completely lose all DPS available. But apart from that, it's a usual straightforward challenge. I'm just going to keep rejecting it around because I want the best impact for my DPS. But right now, we're going to get to the next challenge. And that challenge is one of these four. It's band practice. Each round 600 while the band kids warm up. You get the guy from before. And three band members, one, two, three, take up slots with unique abilities. It's one going to be DPS, gold, fine, and something else. It's going to be like negative ones because they will never give you positive. Because that's weird. I mean, it's cold. You need a challenge. I'll show you what happens when I get to 500. <laughs> okay, guys. So here it is, the second ability one, I mean event, the band practice, there's three ones of course you gotta listen to, and they do certain abilities, every time a monster dies, decreases gold bound by 2%, and it resets by changing arenas. Tell me. This figure one here is, every 10 seconds, disables the DPS or formation abilities of adjacent crusader for 10 seconds, and then the last one is, Rattata attack for the drummer boy reduces another 100% all the damage gets you removed. Which is fine, you use that front space, I think, for abilities, which is fine. I've got more than enough abilities to work in front. I do have a quick basic round of what I want to do, and we'll see how it works. So he's already there, you're going to be here too to copy them. <coughs> now there. The least of my worries about DPS is I just want Sajin as always to make it work. He's fine. He's fine. The gold needs for Aster, which is why I'm supposed to get Sajin when he's available and put him here. Because why not? It's going to be the long term DPS increasing. I uh, don't like that that's there, but apart from that, it's simple 600 run, because they're warming up. I'll show you close to the end, mostly, but it's a straightforward tier 3. And the next challenge is a rivalry, where, as you can see here, your greatest rival, Delilah, spares your wandom. He reduces all gold fine to zero, and certain monsters to run faster, and there's always ever one Delilah. I'm Sasha Delilah. Uh, I think there's a reference there. I'm better than dumb bump of that. But apart from that, this is a pretty good straightforward challenge. I'm looking forward to it. Let's 
get doing. <laughs> as you've been told, and as you can probably tell, um, the basic point of this challenge is you're gonna have to get that guy from when he spawns, Dalaria, cause a damage or a reduced DP of gold. And much more for spawning faster, so it's just like it's be a case of forcing you to spawn much stuff faster and then try to kill everyone else in the process before Dalaria brings their stuff. Because there is Dalaria, and so you can be a pain in the butt hook. Of course, clicking it will do it faster, but if you've got a DPS buff like the one I've got always running, it's not going to help, but still, what you need to do to kill him, apart from that, I'll be happy to do that. Because I'm just taking a cast for once for this event. It's not that bad. <laughs> Apart from that, it's a good one. It's straightforward. You have a character. New one is going to be good. As I said, I'll put the review at the end of this video, as always. So, until then, I'll show you close to the end when I really like Delilah. Because he's being a pain in the butt for me. But I can have to play and keep adjusting my rules. <laughs> anyway, we are done. Um, it was pretty straightforward. Again, I've done we've done it to 8:30, as you can see in the top corner here. But that means we can easily get done with that. Delilah is being smart about gold find. We can easily get to the other two challenges before then, when we've got four days left. The next challenge is take wing. Get to area 700, and of course, you must have only characters with the wings abilities. So, I.e., they can if they have fly, they can probably fly. I mean, they will fly because they see the whole point of this ability is that that they can only use flying wings. So there's a fair amount of them that I can recall telling you, and the basics of it is you have a uh, new d d demon, and you go for this. You have Bayonor, You have any one I think in the metal soldier yet because she has flying capabilities or wings in theory. You have a lot of stuff to go for flying. It's probably only like 20, over 20 caps crusaders, about four slots, I think, if I remember. But again, I have to double check all these slots. But you're right, there's a lot that I'll need to look through and see if I can find any. So basically, yeah, first of all, you have your succubus, of course. That's your first I guarantee. So I'll put it there for the least to get spot. And apart from that, the rest of them is going to be a case of just double checking where we think there's a fly in here. That's right, Bayonel and Robotech because it has wings. Bayonel because you've got mobilities. You don't have anything there because there's no wings on you. Master, I think you do not. And you game guide, you do have the season on. So it's a case of now just going through all of this and trying to figure out which ones will work and which ones will not. Brogon. Good, 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 good. Apart from that. It's going to be a, uh, maybe a little bit difficult because it's going 700 with the wings, and only the wings. Apart from that, it's doable. It's doable. Anyway, to cut long story short, there was a challenge before this which I was talking about, which was take wing, and only the certain ones were flying. It got done, in the end you could have Zora Bunch, the Milk Angel, you pretty much most people who are still marked here are available, so hence the dragon, the angel, probably the parrot, anything that looks like it could be flying it has been chosen, the rocket, the dragon, the guardian, all of them are fine. That was 2024 against 700. The last and final challenge, which I've pretty much done, as you can see in the top left corner, I am at 740 out of 750. It is the math class. And what you do is you have to only use the prime number crusaders. Which is basically, yeah, if you know your maths, prime numbers are the ones that can't multiply by only itself and one. That's it. Hence, two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. 17, 19, 23, and that's it. But of course, if you haven't unlocked them, 
you don't get that chance of getting the actual extra couple of people there like I've got here which makes it a little bit difficult because I know there won't be 24 because that's 12 24 in itself 2 see that's map working apart from that it is pretty good um, I'll have to show you just after this what his skills are Mr. Zora Banded Demonic Angela but this one is straightforward done yeah oh now now we'll get to exactly that but first I need to reset anyway here we go guys I did finish it as I just said before and here is the actual quick summary of the skills of Zoroban the Demonic Angel. He has the basic skills, of course the 21, but that's in the middle somewhere. But first of all, we have Howard Fury. They've got some problems they're working through. Increases the DPS of him by 300% straight off, which is pretty good right for the simple basic one without any gear as you can see. I've got a lot that need to get off my gear. There is an opening coming. The ignominy. The more you ignore me, the more the stronger I become. Increase the base DPS of him by 75% for each multi-target formation that doesn't target him. So if it's one about healing humans, or buffing up humans, or buffing up supernatural but not him, or some other stuff, he gets a 75% buff to that, which is not bad. And he gets increased the DPS for each part of it, which is pretty alright. I mean, he's kind of strong-ish now with the DPS, because most of it is front or back. Next one is Immortality. If we between from levels, that was the one I talked about. Low Hun Lord Hunter, he thinks that Solitude is mysterious. Increases the monster spawn speed by two and a half for each crusader not next to the guy. So hands says ten <laughs> equals twenty. Meaning they're kind of spawning a little quicker anyway, which is good. There is another increase of 300% for the heavenly part of him, the heaven's wrath. There's a lot of pent up frustration in there. Yep. So, Hell's Fury, Heaven's Wrath. Dual Nature is this one here. He can be Angel or Demon, but not both. Increases his DPS for 540% for each character in front of him or behind him, whichever there are more of. So the same thing will apply, there's at least 410 ahead ahead of him, therefore, that much percentage. And last, finally, is just this one is misanthropy. Now, I never liked them anyway, increases his, the economy ability by 50%, which probably bumped it up to 75, or increased it to 75, from 25 I guess, based on the way the map sometimes works in this game. So he's not too bad in the end. He's just a guy that would like to get buffed for if you skip him away from in the corners, pretty much. And if you take him away from his stuff, he gets more stronger. No, because it will still won't hit depending on people being such edges. He is a nice simple addition to kind of continuously mix up as always with this game. As I said, I have a lot to open up because I have to go first of all give Zora da Zoraban his gear. I have to give the one for Zan from one of these times before. But a rock will change given the one. I have a lot of chest to open up. I'm gonna show them in another video. But apart from guys, this is the school and schoolhouse is finished. I have missed the last two, I think it was then. But for that. But I did unlock them, I just didn't finish all the quests. But we did it. Woo! We did it. As always guys, this is your boy Waters Boy 911 saying subscribe, comment and like to my content and I will see you guys in the video. I mean I have a lot of stuff coming up every so often. I've been busy but I have more time. So I'll see you guys as always. It's always I've got another opening come up, so I'll catch you later in that video. Bye.